going to the Appaloosa County Fair. Animal shows, carnival rides, and all kinds of food on a stick. Speaking of food, did you pack snacks for the train? For there and back. And our train tickets are all set. And I've got our whole itinerary planned. Are you sure you're not Twilight's sister? <laughs> <laughs> Weeks of planning has all come down to this. All we have to do now is wait for our chaperone to get here. Mm-hmm. So when's Rainbow Dash coming? I thought you were gonna ask Applejack. I don't suppose you asked Rarity? You mean we spent all this time planning a trip and none of us asked any pony to take us? In our defense, every other part of the trip was planned really well. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? We really did think of everything, except finding some pony to take us. And the fair is only today. I'm sorry, darlings, but I can't possibly go to Appaloosa. I promised to deliver a new design to Fancy Pants for his monocle and top hat appreciation society soiree. Can you finish it tomorrow? Well, I could. But you learn as you get older how important it is to keep your promises, especially when running a business. Maybe we should just go by ourselves? What? Oh, my dear, no! Appaloosa is far too long a train ride for young foals without accompaniment. You could end up in the wrong place entirely. Why don't you see if Rainbow Dash is free? Sorry, but I just heard from Spitfire that a whole bunch of storm clouds got loose from the cloud factory, and she needs every Wonderful to help bust them. Aw, oh, come on, Rainbow Dash. They won't miss one pony, and we really want to go to the fair. Apparently, we're too young to go alone. Well, duh. Young ponies like you could get lost and never find your way back. But I still can't go. Being a Wonderbolt isn't just about showing off. It's also a responsibility. You'll understand when you get older. I'm sure you'll find somebody else to take you. I wish I could, Sugar Cube. But Big Mac's not feeling well today. Aww. But Big Mac's old enough to take care of himself. And we'd all have so much fun together. Sometimes taking care of some pony is more important than having fun. Speaking of which, don't you even think about trying to go without a grown pony there to take care of you. You could end up in hot water, or worse. We know. The fair could be over before we find some pony to take us. But then we thought of you, since the fair will be full of all sorts of animals and creatures. I'm sorry, but Twilight has an important magical research project, and she's asked for my help. I guess that means Twilight's busy, too. I'm afraid I am. Star Swirl sent me this enchanted flower, and it isn't doing well. If I figure out its magical properties, maybe we can save it. So that's a no on going with us to the fair? We've already asked Applejack, Rainbow Dash, and Rarity, and none of them can come. And every pony made it clear we're too young to go on our own. Oh, definitely. You could take the wrong train or miss your stop. Or get lost in a strange town and end up in a dangerous situation with no pony to help you. We know. I know it's hard, but sometimes you just can't do what you want. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to go to the fair, you could. Sure, grown-ups can do a lot of things that foals can't. But there's plenty we can't do either. Like, right now, I can't find a single reference to this flower. None of the birds or insects I've talked to have heard of it either. I wonder if there's anything in Shadetail Evergreen's Tome of Flora and Fauna. That book's pretty out of date, but it might be worth a try. I think there's a copy in the library filed under discontinued but still potentially useful ancient texts. Unless I put it under Hokum with a slight chance of practical applications. I guess this flower is the most interesting thing we're gonna see today. 
Unless you count watching Twilight struggle to remember how she organizes her books. I bet every pony in Equestria is in Appaloosa right now. Every pony but us. I wish we didn't have to wait to grow up. I wish it would happen all at once. Then we know everything we need to get to the fair and back with no problem. I just wish we were as old as our sisters. Then no pony could tell us what to do, and we'd be able to take care of ourselves. Hey, Sweetie Belle, why's your face all lit up? Too many snacks. Uh, this doesn't look like Appaloosa. That's because it isn't. You all heard that, right? Uh, hello? Do you think we got on the wrong train? I thought trains just took you where you wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Mean to laugh, but you three must not travel much. 
This is Hayseed Junction. The train to Appaloosa isn't for a few hours. Or you could set off on hoof. It's treacherous and confusing, unfit for the young or timid. Yeah, but you three are grown-ups. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'll write down some directions. Maybe we should wait for the train. And miss the fair? We already ended up in the wrong place, which is exactly what we were warned about. And what if we can't follow the directions? Come on. We didn't come all this way for nothing. Besides, I've been through a swamp as a young pony. As a grown-up, it'll be a snail. Grown-ups always know the way. Because being big is all it takes. <laughs> Sorry, I've got kind of a throat thing. This is the right way. Sweetie Belle? Scootaloo? Ah! Don't do that! Girls? Maybe we should head back to the station. I'm not sure we can. I think we're lost. Just like Twilight and the others said. Road and Bluffy's my pet, too. Since when? Bluffy's never even seen a crowd, which you'd know if you ever took care of him. Did you ever think meeting all those ponies might be good for him? He seems okay meeting us. See, they're grown ups and they get it. Bluffy should totally come to the fair with me, right? Y'all don't really think that, do you? Um, hold on. Us grown-ups need to confer. What do you girls think? If they go to the fair, we can tag along. And Spur probably should cheer Bluffy. I mean, that's something a grown-up would say, right? As grown-up ponies, we think you should share Bluffy and let Biscuit take him to the fair. That is some quality grown-up advice. But Bluffy's never been around anything that exciting. What if something goes wrong? We're headed to the fair, too. Since we're such great advice givers, feel free to ask us for more. What an interesting critter. You should enter him in the Animal Showcase. You'd be sure to win most interesting creature. Animal Showcase? That's exactly what we should do. That seems like a bad idea. What do you grown-ups think? <laughs>
Biscuit and Bloofy. That's why I came to find you. It's one thing to bring Bloofy to the fair, but it's another to stick him in a showcase. What's the big deal? You're supposed to be sharing him. Yeah, I'm with Biscuit. The showcase looks like fun. Sorry if I think taking care of Bloofy is more important than having fun. Bloofy's just excited. He probably just wants to get out. Are you sure you're not just upset you have to share him? What if you took a little break? You mean, like, leave? If sharing him is too hard, that might be the best thing. Take our word for it. We are grown-ups. I don't know what's first so worried about. Bloofy and Biscuit are having fun. Yeah, what could go wrong? coming here. Well, once we read Shadetail Evergreen's warning at the Flower Grant's wishes, it wasn't a stretch to think they wished themselves to the fair. It's all they were talking about. Or maybe since we told them they were too young to come, they wished to become grown-ups, then came here and caused some kind of trouble that led to a town-wide panic. Yeah, or that. Twilight! Fluttershy! Oh, thank goodness! I know you're not gonna believe it, but it's me! And I'm Scootaloo. We kind of got turned into grown-ups. And we thought we could take the train here since we were old enough, but we ended up in the wrong place just like you said we would. And got lost. Just like you said we would. Then we met these folks who led us to the fair, and we tried to give them some grown-up style advice, but it turned their pet into a tornado that not destroyed the whole town! Goodness, a whirling mountain. They are very rare, and just the cutest little things when they're not excited. This one's excited. How do we calm them down? When they're young, a Mangju forms a tight bond with its caretaker. They're the only ones who can get them to stop spinning. Spur's the one who really took care of Bluffy. We have to find her. You all go look for Spur. Fluttershy and I will do our best to keep every pony here safe. So sorry, Spur. You knew what was best for him all along. And even though we seem like grown-ups, you were way more responsible than us. What do you mean, seem like grown-ups? Uh, we don't have time to explain. Right now, we have to stop this, and you're the only one who can do it. How? I'll show you. He mostly just needs to see you. Hey there, Bluffy Poo. It's okay. After years of experience with animals, I picked up a few things. Well, one thing's for sure. Bluffy definitely earned the most interesting creature prize. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. We all are.
I guess grown-ups aren't always perfect. They sure aren't. But young foals pretending to be grown-ups are even less so. What do you mean? There's only one petal left. But I think the three of you know what to wish for. And I'm pretty sure Star Swirl won't mind. We wish, wish we, we were, were foals again. again. actually younger than us? The flower turned us into grown-ups, so we figured we could do whatever we wanted, but I guess that's not exactly true. We did everything real grown-ups told us not to and caused all kinds of trouble. And things could have been a lot worse. I guess we were pretty selfish. I'm glad you learned something. That's what growing up is, which is why you probably shouldn't skip any of it. I know we didn't make the best impression, but... We sure would like to visit you and Bluffy someday. I guess that'd be okay, on one condition. You get a real grown-up to bring you. Deal! <laughs> <laughs>